Hey guys, welcome to my video today. So a couple of years ago, I know a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, years. I did a unboxing video of this table easel by Della Roney. At the time that I got this, I was so excited about it and I saw the good. I saw all the good that it could do for me but I hadn't used it in real practice. I didn't have a working knowledge of using this for, you know, the things that I need to use it for. So I'm back today with a bunch of pros and cons for you so you can be better educated if you wanna check this thing out, which it is awesome, but with caveats. It's awesome for the right people and for the right circumstances. And it's not so awesome in other circumstances and for other people. At the time, I said I would do a follow-up video and then, you know, time flies and there's always something more exciting to do. So I didn't, but I have gathered some very pertinent thoughts about this thing from my usage standpoint. And I would love to share them with you today in a very objective review of this Della Rowney table easel. Here we go. Here we are with the table easel, and I thought I would structure this review, giving you the pros first, then the cons, and then would I buy it again? And who do I feel like it's for? So first of all, when you get it, it comes with a couple of these little thingamajigs that keep your art on the easel. I don't use these, so I only have one. I don't know what I do with the other one. I'll just show you how it's supposed to go on. So it goes on like that, and then there's a little washer, and then the little butterfly thing and then you just spin it right on. So let's do this review with at least with one of these on here so you can remember that it actually does come with these and these are actually very useful. So let's start talking about the pros. It's really solid and it's really well made. As you can see, it's a very simple design but it's very effective. So it has this ball joint, it's um, solid wood right here and then this metal piece that holds the turny thing. The turny thing allows you to change the angle of the easel, which is really nice because it's so solidly made and because it's so simply designed that, you know, what's gonna break on this? Not much, you know what I mean? So the more simply designed it is, the easier it is if something were to wear out or stop working. It's just kind of easier to find ways to fix what needs fixing. So I love that. I did lose one of these. I could probably purchase more from the De La Rowney people if I so choose. The main thing that I love about this for drawing is that it saves your neck. So if you're drawing, say my table is a little higher and I'm drawing and I'm doing detail work. Oftentimes, if I'm doing some real detail work, my face will end up like that close to the table and I will end up with a neck ache the next day. And sometimes you don't even realize you're doing it. You're just doing it and then four hours goes by and you're like, what's going on with my neck? So um, this is really good if you have neck issues and you like to do detailed work. That is a huge bonus of this. It has a very smooth drawing surface with a little bit of tooth to it. I don't feel like I need a whole lot of paper to cushion my pen, my pen work, if you know what I mean, or my pencil. It's like a pressed wood, so there's a little bit of give. It's like a nice, but it's also very smooth and finished. So it's not hard like metal or plastic. It, you know, feels organic and um, the texture is very, very nice for drawing on. So that's huge. The third pro is the adjustable angle and how you can, I, which I already pointed out, I know, but this is a really big, awesome thing because you can turn it in almost any direction you want. I mean, it's very flexible. You could do it that way. You could do it that way. You know, you can do it a lot of different things with this and that's nice. I love that about it. All right, let's start these cons because uh, I got a big list of cons and I have some details about why these are cons for me. The height is not adjustable. This is a bit of a problem for me. It's, it's a big problem for me actually because it basically keeps me from using this more or really at all. I don't use it very often at all. And the reason why is because, because I can't adjust this. 
I can move it around the house, which is really nice, but my chair is not adjustable and I just don't have room for an adjustable chair in this room. I have a really small studio. And if you're like me and you have space limitations, it is good for that because it's a small easel, but the height does matter. Like having adjustable height on this thing really does matter for me in that way because I don't have an adjustable height chair because I don't have the footprint in my room for it. So that's, that's kind of a deal breaker for regular use for me. Another thing that bugs me, it's not necessarily a deal breaker, but it's kind of really annoying <laughs> because if I'm using this, I wanna do detailed work but it wobbles a little bit. So there's like a slight wobble. Now I could probably hack this and fix it. I could probably find a way to use rubber bands to do something to keep this from happening, but I just haven't been motivated to do that yet anyway. So, and I don't know if I will ever be. If I'm doing some really detailed drawing work, this is a bummer, you know, like this is not gonna work. I would have to either hack it or, um, or hack it. <laughs> I would just have to not use it or hack it, you know? I mean, I potentially could just use a bunch of big books and draw on that, but then you also don't get a slight angle if that is what you're going for. You could probably, you know, shove a piece of cardboard or such, such as these in here. So I have some cardboard coasters and I'm sticking them in here to see if it helps with the wiggle. So uh, I think I'd have to work on this a little bit to get it to really work. I bet I could fix this with some cardboard, but I'd prefer that it wasn't an issue at all. Maybe what they could do in the future, the company, is to add a rubber stopper or something, something that could be uh, flexible enough to be adjustable for any little wiggle issues, but that would help people who have the same issue. I'm just guessing here, but I think it's probably a fairly common issue with this just because there is no washer or anything here. It's just like, okay, there's a washer, but there's no rubber washer. And I think that that would really be effective to help with that wiggle. So the third con for this is sort of connected to the fact, again, that it's not height adjustable. I'm a lefty and I don't even know if this is like a lefty problem or not. It might be more of a lefty problem than a righty problem. I don't know. But when I'm using this and I'm drawing, I don't really have any place to put my pens. What would be really useful, and there's gotta be some hack for this that you could get at the container store or something, but some sort of a pen caddy that could hang off the side of this would be really helpful for, for my uses. Now I'm using this only for drawing. I haven't used it for painting like you would an easel like maybe how it's meant to be used, I don't know. Um, like this, I haven't used it for, I haven't used it for painting. And it's very sturdy like this, especially if the board is on the ground like this and then you have your little stoppers down here to hold your paper. Then you can have your art materials here and you can just work. But the way that I was anticipating to use it was for drawing and it would be like this. The adjustable height is an issue, as you can see. And that leads to not having my pens handy. It's a real, like, it's a real mind bender. Like, when you're in the zone and you're working, and then your stuff just isn't easy to grab, it's really weird. And that was really the deal breaker for me. I can sit here and draw with this, like, as shown. But when I want to switch my material, it's like a big deal, you know what I mean? Cause I have to take my arm off and like rethink my whole situation here and like go over here and grab it. And it's just like, it takes me out of the universe. You know what I mean? So, you know, there's a chance that maybe I just didn't give it enough time, but I really think that I need to put some energy into finding a way to make that work for me if I'm going to continue to use this. And if I'm not gonna continue to use it, I should get rid of it because it's an awesome piece for the right person. Maybe after making this video, I will be a little more proactive and looking for a caddy or something, but um, there's still nothing I can do about the adjustable height. So I'm gonna have to sit on some books or something. Anyway, my final thoughts are that this is really awesome if you can deal with the cons or hack them in some way um, that I have just shared. 
And also, I think it's totally great if you're a painter and you paint relatively small and perhaps you're in a classroom setting or something. You can you could put this in the back of your truck or in the back of your car and bring it with you. It's not, you know, made to be totable. It's not marketed that way, but if you have a car, I wouldn't take this like on the train or anything, but if you have a car and you could stick this in the back of your car, take it to your art class or whatever, um, that would be awesome. But um, it's not made to be compact to be moved around. It doesn't come with like a caddy or anything. I did see a YouTube video a couple of years ago when I first got this. The woman who did the video was an art teacher and she used these in her classroom. And that I think is like a really great use for this. She had a lot of them and they're very sturdy. If they're sitting at an angle, like when it's hitting the table, it's very sturdy. It's very sturdy. There's no, there's no rippling or bop bobbling or anything. When it's just hanging out flush with your table, it's great. And then you could use these down here. You could have your art supplies here and it would be totally fine. But um, for my uses, I think the real deal breaker is the height. If I got a different chair, which I've had a lot of different chairs, but I just don't have any chairs that like fit in this room. It's a very small room. So I have to, I'm constantly on the lookout for a better chair, you know, but different chairs have different heights and not everything's adjustable. So because my chair is not adjustable and this is not adjustable, I need to either use a different chair when I use it or use a different room and use a different chair as well. It's kind of like the verdict is still out for me. I think that in a perfect world, it would be a perfect detail drawing tool for me. But, you know, because of the couple of cons that are sort of deal breakers for me or things that I can't fix, at least not right now, I don't use this like I would like to use it. So I am going to hold on to it for a little while. You know, because I have ever-changing things going on in this room because it is so small, so I'm constantly on the lookout for things that are going to make things better and more um, workable for me. So, you know, there's every possibility that I will have another chair at some point, and then I could use this and try different things with it. And I do think it's a really good piece of equipment, and I, I don't want to like slam it or anything. I think it's awesome. I just think for my personal uses, like I'm particular, you know, I'm a lefty. I'm particular. I have to have everything like right there for me. And it's just, it's just too high for me. It's just too high for me and it's not adjustable. And that's, that's the main, main deal breaker. So that's my second review or my full review, I guess, of this Della Rowney um, art easel, oh God, what is it called? <clears throat> of the De La Rowney art easel. And I hope that this review was helpful for you. And I'd love to hear what you think about it. If you have any ideas for me on ways I can improve my tiny room, <laughs> get a better chair or whatever, please put it down below in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I hope this is helpful. And you know, hey, this could be for you. You know, this could be perfect for you. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.